What is going on everyone? My name is Boyd and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology action spawning on the top of the map in the blue color playing set is the Mister. His opponent today in the red color playing set as well is I am Magic. His name is Magic. This is the Age of Mythology Expert Tournament Finals. It's a best of seven. First player 2-7. No, not a best of seven. First player 2-7 wins. It is a best of... Is that 13? A best of 13? Correct me if I'm wrong. But that's crazy. I'm pretty sure it's the first player to 7 wins this. And I hope that the games are in order. Otherwise, I'll be casting them in the wrong order. But there's no issue with that. Basically, this tournament was run by AWOL Iron Maiden. And with the support of an age mythology enthusiast like myself who has money. Basically, he throws money at tournaments and creates crazy games like like the one we're about to see in the series we're about to see so i'm really excited to watch it really excited to see what both players manage to come up with in this series now i just want to talk about the players for a little bit okay so as we all know the mister is a phenomenal age of titans player and the crossover between age mythology and age of titans is so small and so minuscule at the top level of play you can do everything correctly if you can do that then you're sweet However, the one issue with uh, the swap over from Titans to Age of Mythology is uh, macro. Um, and sometimes what's going to happen is it's going to slip. Uh, our Titans player's micro is top notch, uh, but as we see the gold villager walking back to the town center and missing his drop point. Um, but Mr. Micro is top notch. His macro might slip in these finals, which could be the only reason that I can think of that would give magic an advantage at the moment i call this game 50 50 either player could win this series uh and i'm gonna i'm gonna go into why and that is because magic is a beast when it comes to money on the line tournaments his his rate of winning them is so much higher than losing like he he's gonna get to the finals of a money tournament and he's probably gonna win it that's based on odds and based on statistics uh so You've got Mister, who's a crazy good Age of Mythology, Age of Titans, RTS player in general, versus Magic, who is a crazy good Age of Mythology, Age of Titans player, as well as a strong... I don't actually know his RTS experience outside of Age of Mythology and Age of Empires, um, but he's so good at Age of Mythology and Age of Titans. I just want to just put that out there before this actually gets any further. Um, it doesn't matter who wins and what I say in the middle of the game both of these players deserve to be here and both of them are experts in their own right Thank we you. see uh, Mister getting lucky with a couple of Rhino in his base and we see that Magic did not choose to go for his Rhino which is a little bit interesting because he did spot them and it's why you can see the score discrepancy right there Mister is a little bit in front of Magic so Magic's just going to be running around his Hyena a bit. He, it's nice to see that Magic managed to find a side Hyena, which is going to allow him to protect his Priest with his conversions. And we see, unfortunately for Magic, taking a couple of arrow hits from the Mr. Villagers, so that Hyena is going to be a little bit down in the HP for map control. We do see a Hyena offset for the Mr. and a Rhino created for Mr. So mister has got the protection he needs for his Priest from that Rhino, and he's just going to walk around and try and find some Hyena to convert and other things which could be useful. And really, I think that set versus set is the most interesting Egyptian matchup in the game as we see Mystic going trying to go for a very fast advanced time. It's actually going to be hitting the classical age through Pitar at 340 with magic a little bit lagging behind, but he's going to be going for a similar uptime. He's got his temple just appearing there. But basically, this matchup is really interesting because of animals in it. And it basically just plays out the map control is so important in the early game, otherwise, you fall behind in terms of how many free animals you get. Uh, so it's going to come down to who can get map control first through this early animal gathering wall. If no one can nudge anyone else off, we do see a animal form is magic going to be picked off. Not exactly managed to get through that, but both players are converting at a relatively similar rate, so they're both going to be getting a lot of animals, and it's going to be pretty good for them. Like they're not going to struggle in any way, shape, or form. 
Uh, I feel like that's a good thing for both players. We're going to see a decent matchup. However, we do see Magic's Priest coming in here. Actually, no, that's that's okay. Magic's Priest retreating away from the Rhinoceros. So, just going to be baiting that into the Town Center. But this is going to be too good for that. We do see Mr. Finding the Priest of... of Oh, sorry, Magic finding the Priest of Misters, and he's going to be tempted to pick that off. Misters going to have to retreat that away. Mister hitting the classical edge triple ties, probably looking for a couple of villagers to pick off. His Rhino's going to be moving in. There is a bunch of villagers over there, but he's choosing not to get that quite just yet. If we go to Misters camp, we see he's sitting a little bit low on the food, but he's got a lot of gold income. He doesn't actually have a pickaxe yet, which is a little bit of a mess play in my opinion. I feel like he could have gathered that. Oh, and this shifting sand is going to be huge if, huge if he can manage to get it. He's going to pick off. Nothing. He's going to pick off nothing. That's so unfortunate for him. I don't know what happened there. I think what he was trying to do was shifting sands his pharaoh and priests over there. But he misclicked and clicked it the wrong way. Either that or he was trying to shifting sands the villagers over to here and he misclicked on something. That's unfortunate for Mr. Up, but it's not game ending by any stretch of the imagination it's just going to give magic a little bit of an edge in fact in in fact i actually have to put the advantage into magic's hand at the moment now because he's got shifting sands as opposed to uh mr who doesn't mr throwing up his armory now thinking about going to the um, heroic age magic going to be doing the same thing he doesn't quite have that army up just yet he is building it got a bunch of villages on build with pickaxe on the way we don't see any wood villages yet from Mr. So Mr. is just going hero mode, he's going man mode, not getting any wood upgrades, any wood at all for that matter, which is a little bit interesting. Uh, and he's finally sending a villager over to the village, you can see he's wandering over there now. Uh, it's, it's interesting to see like the sort of build orders that these players go, because this game has evolved and changed so much over the years, it's gone from uh, guerrilla warfare to, I, I, I think, um, King, AOM King made a post about this and it was really, really interesting. The game evolved from like guerrilla warfare to like medieval fighting to like the robots playing. Like there's so much change. Uh, and I, I want to go into details about that. So while nothing's happening at the moment, I'm going to actually talk about that. We do see Mr. Has Map Control. So that there's nothing really to talk about at the moment because both players are just booming back. So at the start, when this game was released, you had people like PG Fire. People would like, people, I, I don't know who, who the Asians were, but. The, there were these Korean players who had like 400 APM and they were just multi-attacking, like multiple attacks everywhere and there was just a mess. The game was literally a mess. People didn't know what those, what was going on, what the best strategy would do and they were just doing stuff and they were doing as much stuff as they could. And obviously PG Fire managed to do the most stuff that he could in the best way that he could. As we see Nephthys for Mr. and Magic going to do Nephthys similar times as well. So... That's that's the, that's the guerrilla warfare that I'm talking about. The multiple attacks, multiple high APM. Now the second period, which we like to call, which King called like the hoplite era. So like uh, medieval warfare. So it was a lot about mind games. There were some strong strategies, and people were um, trying to work out what the best things were. But there were like a lot of counters, and people didn't have a build down which would do everything. So people started mind gaming and like trying to beat people with mind games and doing like lots of sneaky stuff and it was really, really interesting. And if you go back and you watch those uh, recorded games from around 2005, 2006, you'll see those mind games. It's really, really interesting. As we've seen Mr. Through the Royal Cage at Nephthys and Mr. and sorry, and Magic through Nephthys as well. We don't see a Migdol going up. We see a Migdol going up at the very middle here. It's three villages building up. This is a little bit less than you'd like to see, especially with a villager at low HP, um, because that can be shifting stance away really, really easily. And if we're not, and if Mr. is not careful, he might actually lose those villages and that Pharaoh at the same time. Anyways, we see another oh, siege workshop going up for magic first. It's very interesting. I don't know if I agree with that, but perhaps getting the siege towers out faster is going to be a better option or a good option. But again, he didn't finish that siege workshop quite early enough. Anyhow, Migdol's drunk on going up for him. Interesting choice. Not going to judge him for it. I, it's interesting to see the differences of the players, and even, even though this is a mirror wall, they're just both trying to get an edge over the other player. Um, anyway, back to my story. Uh, the next. Um, tier which King called robots. Now, at the moment, one could say that as we have a little bit of an animal fight going on here, nothing's really important is happening at the moment. There was robots, and that's us, and that's the top player at the moment. Players 
seem to have found the best builds they can do, the most efficient ones, and it's generally just comes down to micro in terms of strategy. Everything, everything's been found out. <coughs> but that was 2010 to 2012. I call 2013 a different era. I don't think it's about robots anymore, and I don't think the game has been completely found out. Especially when Magia came back with Set, and people could say, people have been doing that for ages, Set's so been been doing that for ages. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go and watch some of Magia's recorded games when he just came back in somewhere around, somewhere around 2013, when he was playing Age of Titans. It was ridiculous. Go and look, look, go and look them up. As we see ancestors popping up, we'll continue this story later. And Mr. Making a bit of a push in here, shifting Sands over to the corner, actually managed to pick off a couple of those units quite nice for Magic. However, the issue with this push in here is that no Siege Towers for Mister. So Mister can pick off as much as he wants, but that Migdal Stronghold is going to go to town onto those Chariot Archers at the back and everything else. So as much as this attack is putting pressure onto Magic, I don't think it has much merit because you can't push through and win the game. You can slow down your opponent, but then he's just going to recover and then Ansys attack you back with some Siege Towers. So, a little bit of a misplay here, I believe, as Magic manages to hold here quite nicely, picking off that Elephant of Set. Not an Elephant of Set, just an Elephant, but I call it an Elephant of Set because it's a Set Elephant rather than a Gaia Set Elephant, but you'll forgive me for that. So now we're going to have to see Mister going to have to retreat and uh, play the defensive game. Uh, and I really hope that Magic doesn't overcommit here and throw away this advantage he has, because he definitely has an advantage here, but he just can't push it quite yet. Um, for, uh, is he going to move in? Or is he going to retreat? His Ancestors is almost expired, so he might expire after that. He might retreat after the Ancestors expires. Now he's going to move in and try and pick up the Siege Workshop. So this is interesting play here. I don't know if it's going to be enough to win the game. I think, yeah, there's more than enough here to pick off those Siege Towers before they pick off the Migdol Stronghold, which is the important building. Siege Workshop actually only costs like 25 gold, so you can build that up relatively quickly. And it looks like Magic's focus firing one of those dummy cameras. And by dummy camera, I mean one of those cameras running back and forth in between your chariot line, making your chariots miss. And Mister managing to out micro Magic right here is going to be able to push back. And this fight just keeps on going and going. I need to see another Siege Workshop going up for Mister right now. We see 100 population to 63 population. And I'm just. I mean, oh, I, I don't think, I, I said I didn't think that that attack was a very good choice by Magic, just because uh, if you hold on to a fight, barely, and that wasn't a, and that wasn't a, it wasn't a clear-cut fight, he barely held on to that, as a little bit of a raid came on onto this corner, I don't know if he managed to pick up any villages, but he did pick, push village units off to this, off this gold mine, which should mine a little bit, as we saw, by the amount of gold left on that mine. Anyways, let's go back to my story. I don't think that the game has been solved because Magjar came back and he did crazy stuff. Right? Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. And he was beating players like nobody could see. And one could say that's because Magjar's really good. But then Mister did it. Now, one could say Mister's really good. But let's just, I, I just, I don't think that anyone else had thought about that strategy so much. So Mr. and Magia both did that strategy in a similar way and owned. And it made people say Set's the most strong, strongest god in the game. And I don't believe that. I believe Isis or Zeus or Uranus are the strongest gods in the game. But Set was being played at such a high level that and with a, such a strong unseen strategy it just managed to do something that it hadn't been seen in a while so that's my little story there i think it's pretty interesting as we see another bit of a raid coming in here just a bit of hit and running if you get a priest into the fray you can actually run hit and run with your chariots forever and just pick off units left right and center if you have a chariot lead um, which um, mister does at the moment so yeah basically what i'm trying to say is this game hasn't been figured out at all and there could be any kind of shift in the metagame to change who the strongest gods are. For all we know, there could be a strategy which Odin has, which nobody's seen before, and could beat even the best of aggressive gods and the best gods. 
Anyways, back to the game. <laughs> so, it, at the moment, Mist has got a little bit of an edge. She's got his second town center up a little bit before Magic. However, I think that Magic's kind of in front in terms of economic upgrades. Yes, okay. One, Mister needs to get plow. Once you have one village on farms, plow is good to get. I don't care how many you're going to get. I think it's good to get instantly, as soon as you build one farm. <laughs> Just because otherwise you'll forget about it. <laughs> Uh, and we see another push coming in here for Magic Match. Just be really careful here because while his army is sitting at 110 population, Mr. Sinia 130 population, but his units are out of position. Uh, if Mr. comes around and starts picking off some units, he could be in for a good position. And I just want to look at the gold mines quickly. You see one gold mine over here, one gold mine over here, one gold mine over here for our. Uh, our red set player magic. So he's gonna have to secure that gold mine or that gold mine. The right or left gold mine, that is. Um, and we see a little bit of a raid coming in over here by Mr. Mr. does note that this is here and he saw that at some point. So he's gonna be picking up a couple of villages here, maybe one, maybe two. But they're just gonna retreat back into their little, uh, little town center. And actually, no, Mr.'s picking off two, two or three. Luckily, okay. And they have been safety. So three villagers killed there for Mr. Nice trade there. Nice pick up. He managed to pick up a couple of units over here. Lose a couple. For, but in all in all, I believe Mr. came out a little bit in front of that. However, he's going to be losing a couple of units. Yeah, losing one chariot. So nice pick up for magic. So all in all, I think it was a bit of an even trade. One chariot and a couple of chariots over here because he had numbers. He should have won a bit of the, the trade over here. So Mr. doing... Mr. and Magic still playing this game extremely well and extremely evenly. Uh, Magic's going to be actually catching up though in terms of economy, even though he was down by a town center for a little bit, just because he hasn't, just because Mr. hasn't got hand axe and got plow. Um, and that's big, especially because he's got five farms, six farms now, I can't count. And we see Magic now going to push in here. Mister is a little bit out of position as well, so these siege towers are going to be in the position to kill the uh, the Migdal stronghold, whereby the Camry aren't going to be able to pick it off. So this is going to be an interesting fight here. So he's going to manage to pick off the Migdal stronghold, but is he going to be able to win this fight? Because it looks like Magic is on in a really bad position in terms of his chariot positioning, whereas Mister's got them in a really nice position. And I like to explain that a bit better, but what just happened here uh, kind of changed that. Now, now Magic's in a Fairly decent position, however. Most of the cavalry are in the fray. We have siege towers right in the middle of these chariots, soaking up any uh, and all chariot fire. And what Mister has to do to win this fight is focus fire all the chariots, which it looks like he's doing really, really, really well. So if we can see the sixteen chariots of Mister to Magic's uh, nine chariots, so Mister just incredible micro right there. But it's the Camry and the uh, the Siege Towers which are going to shred through Mr's army. So even with the great micro of Mr. Magic's army control and army competition there really, really did well. However, it looks like Mr. at 93 population to Magic's 74 population. Looks like Mr.'s a little bit, came out a little bit in front of that in that trade. And looks like instead of trying to save those siege towers, he's going to sacrifice them for a siege workshop, which I don't think he's going to quite get. Actually, he might get it. There's, there's just kind of two more hits there, one more hit, and he's actually he's gonna manage to pick off that siege workshop. So, trading the two siege towers there for a siege workshop, a bad trade because that's gonna be villager working time to get them back up. Those siege tower, those siege workshops back up. Um, but the big story is that Mister came out in front quite heavily. See, 74 population for Magic and Mister's 104 population there. And I believe that was a little bit that came down to the fact that Mister had three town centers to Magic's. Two town centers, right? So yeah, but he, he did let Magic pretty much secure this town center without any hassles. So he's managed to trade that off in quite a nice fashion. Um, economic upgrades are an issue in this game. I feel like if they were a little bit more on top of their game, they'd be able to get uh, that economy rolling a lot better than it is at the moment. Generally speaking, you're going to see players at this stage of the game with full armor, as uh, full economic upgrades. Uh, but there's just been so much fighting that there hasn't really been time or room for those. If someone did manage to get an economic upgrade over the other person, the other person probably could have been able to punish the other person with 
uh, a push, a military push with some advantages in terms of unit size, uh, which is why these players are so good. They just sort of know what to do and when to do it. And we see Mister coming in here with ghostly timing, going to be able to pick off one of those laborers for free right there and unfortunately for magic that gold mine is not yet secured so he's not even going to be able to pick up any units but you see a little bit of a push coming in over here magic really wants to kick off this gold mine which he's managing to do he's picked up two laborers there which is quite nice for him and a couple of these come are going to fall if magic's not careful but they're just going to retreat out of there without taking any more damage so that's a really nice play by magic picking off two villages for free uh, and he's going to retreat out of there and keep his uh, sort of play going. But the big point to note is the timing when this gold mine falls. It's got 1700 gold left. Has to secure that gold mine or that gold mine. I like to see a wall that goes off over here and a wall that goes off over here for magic, but magic hasn't actually thrown up any walls other than that one, which kind of didn't make any sense in the first place just for the fact that he's um, it's an Egyptian wall. But at this point, walls would be really nice. Um, even actually a wall over there, and then you could start a trade route that goes from there to here, which would be quite nice. And it would secure this gold mine as well. And he is managing to throw up this wall right here. Uh, I can't believe that wall would be better, but not to uh, be too shabby about where you put the wall so long as there's something there to protect you, which is going to happen here. We see another siege workshop going up over here to uh, block that trade over here. I'm sorry, that positioning over there. And Mr. Nice pick off over there, managed to pick off one villager. Not going to be losing much more than. Well, he's actually losing two chariots, possibly more. We don't see crenellations yet for the Migdal stronghold, so he's going to be shooting blindly those chariots, not doing any damage. And Magic pushing in again as the raid's out of position here. I don't think there's enough siege towers yet to push through on this position and win the game, or at least punish um, Mr. Fury's little trade. I mean, sorry, little raid over here. Uh, so magic's gonna have to sort of he's again he's getting into this position where the chariots are going to be at the back of the enemy chariots whereas his chariots are going to be uh, in a position that's going to be favorable for him especially with that camera he can dodge arrows so he's just pulled magic into a position he doesn't want to be so he can't retreat now and he can't retreat either way if he does he's going to be taking tower um chariot fire uh, so now Mister's just going to focus fire down these chariots. He's got one siege tower right in front of Magic's, um, sorry, right in front of Mister's siege tower, and Mister's just got one siege tower taking other brunt of the chariot fire, which is a little bit unfortunate for Magic right there. Um, unfortunate, in fact, not unfortunate, just miscalculated. He should have been focused firing those chariots a little bit better, and missed coming out very, very far ahead there, sitting at a. 157 population to Magic's 118 population. So really nice play by Mr. There, catching Magic in a position that he didn't want to be in. Uh, but again, that's not because... I don't believe that was because Mr. played significantly better than Magic. I think that Magic just made a little bit of a mistake there in pushing in that, that spot. I think he should have retreated when he saw that um, Mr. was coming back. I don't know if he saw that, but he probably should have known that there wasn't any more pressure coming on, so he could have retreated. He'd just kill off the wall with a couple of units and get out. Um, I think it's the first player now who gets to the Mythic Edge who's really going to win, and because Mister's up at the 160 population, there's no reason for him not to be able to get to the Mythic Edge. Just on a couple of docks over here, because they're going to be able to kick off that town center from the water, and that does look definitely in range from the Mythic Age siege ship so if he can control this water then he controls this town center and potentially this entire area so that's going to be extremely good for him and we see that magic's now going to be attempted to take this location but he's got no armory over here and mister's got the gold mine scouted out with an obelisk as well as a bunch of chariot archers and the siege towers for mister just going to be trading out there i don't know what they're exactly trying to do they might have been trying to pick up that migdal stronghold or maybe try and pick up the town center or something like that and you see Magic trying to push through again, picking off that wooden wall. Every time that Ma Mister tries to make a separate push, Magic tries to make a massive push through. So we're going to see if Magic can pick up a couple of chariots before Mister's chariots get back. And just to cut down onto the resources that he has. But Mister going to be going through Thoth. He's actually already 60% complete or 50% completed on that Thoth upgrade. He might lose this Mikdal stronghold for it because his units are out of position. He doesn't actually have many uh, melee units either. He's only got 
got chariot archers, so they're going to be able to pick off the enemy chariot archers really nicely. But it looks like some war elephants are coming out into the fray just to pick off and tank some of the damage from that siege talon. And it looks like magic's just going to be focused firing some of those laborers down just to pick off some of the potential resource income that Mister has. But Mister is not going to be that silly. He's going to keep on building. No, he's not going to keep on building villages. He's actually content with just building up a trade route now. He's able to sacrifice a couple of villages. Um, but it looks like this Migdal Stronghold without any upgraded masons or architects is going to fall to the Siege Tower. So this is a massive push coming from Magic. The Magic's losses actually not doing too bad. He actually might lose this middle town center though for it because he did uh, lose uh, his attention. But I think that's actually going to be able to fall at some point. We see the Meteor coming down now into that Migdal Stronghold. It's going to be able to pick that off as well. It's going to be destroying that landscape extremely well and the siege tower moving in again the town center of mr i oh, sorry of magic managed to stay up from mr's push through with those two siege towers but catapults are going to be coming into the fray now it's going to come down to who can control land well enough and we see if we go to mr's perspective has he decided to get that up no, no he hasn't yet got the naval upgrade for his siege ships so siege ships aren't really a threat just yet for miss for magic but uh, if Mr. starts throwing up some towers over here, then Catapult are going to come into the fray, going to kill off town centers and kill off the potential for ma Magic to win this game. And the big thing is that Magic isn't yet in the Mythic Age, so he's got no answer for those Catapults. He has to produce Mercenary Cavalry, which is a sinking ship. If you have to produce Mercenary Cavalry, you can't sustain that without without having a full population army you're just going to have to keep on falling for further and further behind and and basically that means uh you're not going to get to the mythic age you're not going to be able to counter the catapults with your own catapults and anything you put up is going to get taken down by catapults and you see two coming out already uh, we don't see any towers yet for towers yet for mister so mister's not yet ready to put them up he doesn't quite have the resources because he's only got seven villages on gold and he hasn't really started well he does actually have a pretty significant trade route but it's not that great we see the rhinos of Set and the hippos trying to take down that Migdal stronghold. That's going to take a while. Uh, Camry of um, going to be coming out right there and picking off those rhinoceri as well. I'm going to call them rhinoceri. That seems about right. We see the catapults coming in here, picking off that Migdal stronghold. Those war elephants can probably just move in and try and kill the... Uh, the fortified town center but we see this is where the mercenary cavalry um line has to come in magic doesn't have the resources to do this he's pumping out four mercenary cavalry here to pick off these catapults uh and mist is actually countering those with mercenary himself which is not the right choice i'm going to stress this to you the right choice to counter mercenary is not mercenary it is towers towers beat mercenary not mercenary which is interesting, like, mercenary count are the same, but, like, they're not the same. As, as we do see that Magic does pick off that town center finally, uh, and Magic's going to have to get that back up at some point if he can manage to do that. He might actually manage to pick up that catapult, which is going to be a little bit of a win for a little bit for Magic. But he's got a bunch of war elephants sitting, like, right in front of his Migdol. I don't think he's actually got any other Migdols other than that one. Oh, actually, he's got that one over in the corner. That is a lie. And this is where the trade route of magic is as well. So if Mister pushes in through this location, then magic's trade is going to fall, magic's gold mine is going to fall, and it's only going to have this gold mine left. We do see a little bit of a raid over here, but this chariot isn't really doing anything apart from attacking a market, so it's nothing to be concerned about for Mister. In fact, it's better for Mister for that to be happening because it's three population, which isn't somewhere else. See a little bit of a raid going on over here, trying to prevent this gold mine from getting mined by Mister. Mister's just going to continually push through this location, picking off that. Migdal Stronghold and picking off a bunch of these units. Those chariot archers aren't going to be enough to pick off those those war elephants and chariot archers of Misters. Uh, so Misters just going to keep on pushing in through here. Does he know that this market's up? He doesn't quite know the market's up yet, but he does know there's something there because he can see that um, tile issue there. But I don't know if he's going to move over there and spot that. It looks like he is. He's actually clicked onto the gold mine and. Miss Magic being quite smart, delete that market, and he's going to try and start sending that over to this location. Uh, he's not actually going to be able to trade anything now, but he's just getting the gold from those camels which were over here and dumping it into this location instead. Just to save them a little bit. Uh, now Mr. picking up that fourth town center, 
when he gets that up, I don't think Magic's got anything in the bag of tricks to fix that up. Is he going to the, he's going through the Heroic Age through Horus now. So what he's going to try and do now is use that Horus, pick up a bunch of units of Misters, make a push onto the Town Center, and try and get that third Town Center back, get back into the game, form a trade route again, and attempt to win. I mean, maybe if he picks off this location with a Tornado, then that's going to be able to do something. Has he got a bunch of barracks up or something? Is that why he's going to Horus? No, he doesn't have any barracks up, so he's, he's, it's the only reason for him to go Horus is for Tornado, so he's using it to pick off villages because Meteor, as we all know, is better at picking off buildings, but Tornado can do some stuff. As we see another push into this location, picking up two houses right there, and a new Pharaoh has arisen to lead your people. <laughs> so, <laughs> Leech has got something going for him. Um, Again, we see this location falling quite quickly. But what is going to happen? What? He's got 120 population of 121 population, 120. So he's got two houses which need to go up. Uh, I don't know where he's building them or if he's even thought about building them. Now Mist is pushing on this location because he thinks that gold is what's keeping magic still in the game, which it is. I'm not going to lie, gold is the resource which determines whether you should quit or not quit. If you have no gold, no way to get gold then there's no real reason to stay in the game, basically. And we see that this little tornado is going to come onto this location and see he's moving his units in here. Actually, can we kill off a bunch of units over here? Pick up two. That's actually a really good tornado. You can see that the Mist's population just dropped from 180 to 150, so it picked up 30 population with that tornado, which isn't too shabby, but the push that's going to happen now, I don't think that's going to be enough. We see a bunch of rhinoceros have set and have set moving into this location now. Uh, he doesn't have any... He's got two... No... He doesn't have any siege workshop and he's picking up a couple of barracks now so if he can push in now with spearman champion spearman at that then the heavy war elephant and calmly based army of mister might struggle a little bit and, and he might be able to push through especially with a couple of catapults to bring up the rear end especially because spearmen don't cost that much population only two population each and about three of them can kill a war elephant um, or a heavy war elephant if they're a champion with some upgrades but again the, the Look at that, Mercer Cavalry of Mr. Relentless Inept shoot of those villagers. He doesn't care that they cost 120 gold each, they're just going to run in there, pick off what they can, die, and then just keep on doing it. Because we see that Mr.'s, Mr's um, income is actually really, really, really high. Actually, is it? He's got a massive gold route there, trading route. He's got 97 gold coming in, and Mr.'s just going to be trying to pick off gold from left, right, and center. I don't think he can actually take out this location just yet. I think he needs to trade those heavy camera for something else. He doesn't really know that what, what Magic's got in plan in store for him because Magic's having a bit of a unit composition trade, getting a couple of spearmen out, and we can see that Magic hasn't started any upgrades onto the spearmen, and we can see the army upgrades are the biggest story of the game. We can see that actually doesn't need to have that many army upgrades, so it is interesting how much resources were spent on units in this game in magic losing his fort Migdal stronghold to the raid of mr with those camera which is quite nice for mr mr now going to be able to pick off this market and he's got this location surrounded so he's just um bottlenecking uh miss he's just bottlenecking magic into the location so this location over here he's cutting this location off from any reinforcements from over here and he's just going to be able to push in right now Magic getting a couple of axemen out as well. I think that's a misclick. He didn't really mean to get them out. So they're kind of waste. You see Watchtower going up for Magic and trying to hold on to this position as long as he can. Only got 1,000 gold left on it. And the, the ch chariot hutches of Magic just picking off a couple of villages left in, in the base of, um, of Mr. So he's just going to fall right there. So... Oh, nice play by Magic, managing to hold on for, for a little bit longer. Picked up a couple of those chariot arches, and the Camry of Mr. R falling as quickly as they can. And now Magic's now almost at the 140 population. He's still trying to produce as many of those spearmen as he possibly can. He doesn't yet have the medium spearmen. He's got this catapult coming out now, so it's going to be able to peel from Mito Stronghold, which doesn't yet have architects or masons up. So he's very weak 
sort of buildings that, that are up so there's no reason why magic can't push that and uh, abuse it if he had like a little bit of a, a, a siege tower army hiding somewhere and push through but does not look like he's managed to do that walls now going up for mr he's going to get that catapult into this location and start sieging down that fortified town center from safe range behind those walls for nursery cavalry and such like that we see the catapult now coming in for magic picking off that uh mid -dose stronghold of mr mr where's all of your units what are you doing you've got why are you so low on units I think he just doesn't have enough villagers in all honesty. He's still producing villagers from one town so That mid dust is gonna go down because I don't think there's enough for uh magic to use on it. But it looks like Mr. Now coming in over here trying to pick up that fortified town center of magics. That's going to be enough to seal the deal, I think. Even if he does manage to pick off this big dog stronghold, losing his second town center is not... It's, it's actually his hometown center, but being losing two town centers is never a good thing. It's very hard to come back from five town centers to one. We see a big push coming over, and over here. Picking off this Migdal stronghold, but there's not really any point to that because Magic doesn't have any gold left. His village is now picking off the town tower and Magic tapping out. GG, 1-0 to zero in this game best of 13 series between mr and magic holy shit if this is the first game i can't wait to see the next game uh if you've enjoyed this game please watch the next one and subsequent ones they're all going to be coming out my name is boyd thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video